This is what I call a steady state, forever expanding universe. I found in my theory that photons and neutrinos actually have a tiny bit of drag that they do not have in the standard physics theory. And the reason they have a drag in this theory is that I have replaced all of quantum mechanics in physics by a concept called pulsing. And what most people don't know is that quantum mechanics is based on probability theory. In other words, the probability of this happening or the probability of that happening, it's a pure mathematical theory that has no physical explanation at all. My theory of physics is not. My theory of physics is based on fluid dynamics. Pulsing is well known in fluid dynamics. In fact, underwater explosions, as they rise to the surface, spread out, come back in, spread out, come back in, they pulse on their way up to the surface as many as six or seven times, if they're deep enough. In my theory, both photons and neutrinos have a drag. And this drag is due to pulsing. Although photons and neutrinos exist in a physical state for a tiny, tiny fraction of a second before entering their wave state, they are in this physical state long enough at the speed of light to have a significant drag that's not large enough to stop a photon or stop a neutrino, but it's definitely large enough to greatly reduce its energy. It is the drag of photons and neutrinos that cause a redshift to increase in all starlight coming from the stars. A redshift means that everything is receding from everything else and this redshift is interpreted to mean that all of the galaxies in the universe are expanding from each other. But I have found an additional way a redshift forms, and that is to lose drag. To have drag means to lose energy, and whenever energy is lost, the redshift increases. And the redshift increases because all light shifts to the red end of the spectrum if its energy reduces. And if I, if I find a new way that this energy of light reduces, such as by photon drag and by neutrino drag, that will increase the redshift artificially from what is commonly believed. So therefore, everything in the galaxy is not moving apart from everything else as fast as scientists now interpret it to move. And this means then that our universe is younger than it is calculated to be by physicists. I think it could be as much as half as old and maybe more, maybe less. Half as old and maybe less. And in my theory, our universe could conceivably last almost forever, which has never been proposed before.